In this video, we will be finding the square root of 18. In order to find the square root of 18, we first need to review an important math concept. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if we take the square root of two numbers multiplied by each other, we can then separate it out into individual square roots of each of those numbers separated by multiplication. Now we can apply that to 18, but first we need to look at the factors of 18. Factors of 18 include 9 and 2, so I chose 9 because 9 is a perfect square. We can then rewrite the square root of 18 as the square root of 9 times 2, which then using our math rule, we can separate into the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. The square root of 9 is 3 because 9 is a perfect square and 3 times 3 gives us 9. So now we can rewrite the square root of 18 as 3 times the square root of 2, which is a simplified version of this square root. However, if we want to estimate the square root of 18, we can look at the perfect squares that are nearby. So we can take a look at 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. And because 18 lies between 16 and 25, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 16 is less than the square root of 18, which is less than 25. 4 squared gives us 16, so we know the square root of 16 is 4. And then 5 squared gives us 25, so we know the square root of 25 will be 5. Therefore, the square root of 18 lies between 4 and 5. In order to find the value the square root of 18 is most close to, we can take a look at the difference between the perfect squares and 18. So we can do 18 minus 16 to get a difference of 2. And then we do 25 minus 18 to get a difference of 7. Because 2 is a smaller than 7, the difference between the square root of 16 is a lot closer to 18 when compared to the square root of 25. Therefore, the square root of 18 can be approximated to about 4.